Alright, so I've had this thing for a little over a week now. Uh, I've been commuting with it daily. As you can see, there's bug guts and stuff all over it already. It's a good shot right there. Some bug guts. Uh, so it is pretty tight on the head. I do wear a medium in uh, my helmets. Um, the first thing I notice though, um, especially in the freeway, was the um, the chin, uh, the chin curtain. Um, so as you can see, what I did, this is not the stock chin curtain that comes with the helmet. Um, I took out the 3.0 chin curtain and this is actually the extended chin curtain for the 2.0. Um, when I was riding highway, I did the, uh, you know, the, uh, the hand test where you put your hand, you know, up like that while you're riding and I noticed a significant difference in uh, wind noise. So I swapped it out for this one and this is taking care of 80% of that wind noise that I was getting from the chin curtain issue. Um, it's not an exact fit, but as you can see, it does fit in pretty well. Uh, it stays in really well. I've been, like I said, commuting with this thing for just over a week now. Um, it's not come out. It hasn't caused any issues. It hasn't made it harder to put the helmet on, take it off. Um, so until they come out with a 3.0 version of an extended curtain, I'll be using this guy. Um, it was kind of a no-brainer to... Uh, not put the stock one back in after trying this one out. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to go with the Rurock was specifically because of the fasteners to take off the visor and put a different one on. Um, when I head to work in the morning, it's pretty dark out. Um, and it's usually I'm usually leaving right before the sun starts coming out. Um, but I found with this light light smoke that comes with your helmet when you order it, so you get this and you get a clear one. Um, I found that this guy is, is easily light enough to ride in the early morning stages when there's just a hint of light out you can see through this thing with ease. Um, so there's there's no issue there. Uh, so I was actually really happy I didn't have to be changing out my visor every single day like I did with my old helmet. Um, and to change out this visor, it's pretty easy. Um, initially, because it's kind of locked in there, you gotta kind of work it open. But you push on this just a little bit and you turn it and then that'll pop right off. This guy snaps off. And it's just like a, a quarter of a turn type of deal. Um, it is a little difficult to get it to go back on. And I say that just because you have to line up this hole with this guy and then you gotta kinda pull it forward just a little bit to kinda snap it into place. But on the inside here, there's no special way that this goes in in any way. Hopefully you guys can see that. So there's no special deal right here um, to have to fit it in just a certain way. Um, especially like on my Voss helmet, you had to have it a certain way just to get it to line up and lock into place. Um, so it's pretty easy to, to get back on. Let's see if I can do this. So there's that one side. Try not to let it slip off here. Um, initially, 
I was trying to keep this lettering to uh, to stay right side up, but after like two days, like who really cares, you know? Um, it just says protection re-engineered, that's it. So nobody's ever gonna notice that, so why should you really care? And this other side would be a little more difficult. There it goes. You can kind of push it in and it'll just kind of snap into place there for you. And then it holds in by itself. Twist that guy on, quarter turn, like I said. Um, the other great thing I love, 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 love about these visors is right now, you probably can't tell, but it is partially open right now. Um, so this guy is partially open right now. So that's closed. That is totally closed right there. So this is like its default position. It allows the perfect amount of air to come in and keep things nice and cool for you, especially in the summertime. Um, when you put your helmet on and then you go and, and flip your visor down as you do when you start going, it shuts down. Of course, it doesn't do it on the first try. Every single time I've tried this on the street, when you go and flip this down, there it goes. It flips automatically into that perfect spot to where you get that little bit of airflow and then you can lock it in if you need to. Um, but I've traveled on the highway with this guy and had zero issues with wind or anything with that cracked. So 98% of the time, 99% of the time, this is where my visor stays. But you open it up and then as you flip it down, it stays into that position right off the bat. The next spot it goes to is right here. There we go. That'll be your next spot. And that's just a little too much airflow. Um, so like I said, the it, it's a great spot right there. But when you have this all the way up, you can't even see this visor when you've got the helmet on. So you almost forget that it's even there. Um, so I try to actually keep my visor right here so that I know it's there. I know it didn't like fly off. I know it sounds kind of weird. Um, but I was initially a little worried about these guys and having them break off or something. And it's only been a little over a week, but there's been no issues with any of it. So, especially with being summer here in Texas, um, I just, I flip it up and then when I'm ready to go, quick flip a little down and uh, it gives you that perfect amount of airflow. Um, so you'll probably also notice that I've made a few changes to the helmet since I got it. Um, I've got my GoPro mount on the front. This is a GoPro mount from Ruroc. They sell these separately. Um, I didn't 100% know that this would fit on the 3.0, but I was 98% sure it would fit just because they sell it for the 1 and 2.0. And since their lids don't change their shape, um, I believe, through the generations, they've just made key adjustments here and there. I was fairly sure that this would just go right on without an issue. Um, it comes with 3M tape on it. It went on. Um, I did clean the area right before I put it on. And then even though the helmet is extremely light because it's carbon fiber shell, um, what I did was uh, I had the GoPro off with just the mount and I set it down like that um, just to keep some weight on it. 
Um, and I left it like that for three or four hours and that's it. Um, next morning I rode to work with the GoPro on there, had zero issues. The biggest issue I have is that the fitment between these little grooves here is really tight on the Rurock mount. So when you go to loosen up your, your camera here, you'll see I've got the, the screw pretty far out now. That's still really in place. So to actually move it, I actually grip it up here and then carefully move it just because I don't want it to rip off the mount. But it's on there. It is on there. So I was going to take like a file or something or some sandpaper and gently file down these grooves inside um, just to make it a little easier to move up and down. So there's that guy. And then you can see the little Woo Rock logo right there. Um, airflow through the front here has not been an issue with the GoPro right there in the front. Um, if anything, I think it kind of helps a little bit because I have mine fully open at all times. I have yet to close it. Um, but then again, I'm dealing with summer, so I need all the airflow I can get here in Texas. Um, that being said, on the inside, there was a comment that mentioned on my last video um, about this adjuster being here on the inside. Um, that's kind of a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie. Um, so with the chin curtain I have in there, uh, the only way to really access that button, especially if you're wearing gloves, is to come in through the top and try and adjust it there. Um, so it, it's a little difficult with your face in there wearing gloves and riding at the same time. So if you're going to make any adjustment, I would say make the adjustment if you need to before you start riding, before you got your helmet on. Um, or if you can, pull off your glove real quick just to give you a little bit more clearance to get in there because it's pretty tight. My, my nose sits right about here um, and even sometimes touches this guy right here. Um, the second thing I did, I've got a cheapo little Bluetooth, um, just something to give me some tunes while I'm heading into work. I initially had this guy sitting right here and I had a clip that went inside right in here um, to mount it to the helmet that way. Um, if you're like me and you commute and you wear a backpack, that will get in the way. Um, having it right there, this is the perfect spot for that little spot like if you've got a bluetooth like one where this kind of like hangs out that's actually kind of loose now great gotta remount that um it was like this bottom part was hitting my backpack every single time i tried to move my head left um so in order to move left i had to tilt my head to the side and then turn just so i could avoid hitting this guy um so what I did was I, I removed that clip and then I used some scotch double-sided tape and I mounted it further back onto the helmet, but I wanted to make sure that I had a no residue um, double-sided tape that was removable so that I wouldn't mess up the graphic uh, when I decide to switch this out for like a cardo. Um, the reason I haven't gotten anything yet was because I wasn't sure if I wanted the shockwave or not. Um, now I did confirm with Rurock that the shockwave is not compatible with any other communicator um, on the market. It is only compatible with itself. 
So if you're gonna ride with some buddies, if they've got blue rocks and you all have shock waves, great. But if everybody else that you ride with has a Cardo or a Cena, you will not be able to communicate with them. So, yeah, it's uh, this Bluetooth isn't isn't the greatest, but it gives me tunes, you know, while I'm going back and forth to work. Um, I do plan on taking out this little piece here, provided I keep this Bluetooth for a little while longer. I'll drum this piece off and then move the whole thing up a little bit just so I get this away from field of uh, motion there. Um, the vents in the back give you quite a bit of airflow while you're traveling, so that's really good in Texas heat. Uh, let's see, I know someone asked me about wind noise. Like I said, with this chin curtain, you don't have much of an issue. Um, but because of that front mount, uh, the front airflow in there, you're still going to get quite a lot. But I believe they do make some uh, some blockers for the sides here, and that should significantly reduce the wind noise you get. Um, but you get a lot of airflow through this helmet, which is pretty awesome. Um, in case anybody's wondering, there is no internal visor, so what you see is what you get with this guy. Um, I believe someone else also asked me about the pads here. So we'll pull this guy out. So these guys pull out. It's a little, little harder to pull them out. This part here just kind of yanks out like that. And then you've got these more sturdy clips. So I can get it. You have a sturdy clip in there. That takes quite a bit of force to, to pull that out. That's all I got. So in the back pulls out. So the back is kind of locked in with this back piece here. So you'll see if that guy goes onto the back. So I can do this one-handed. So it's gonna go like that. And then it's gonna snap in. One more, I believe. There's one more in the back over there. there we go. Pretty solid snap. And then it comes out. So, I'm not really sure if the emergency deal physically pulls anything, but I didn't want to like actually yank on it in case it somehow like breaks something inside here and you have to replace it. So I've just been pulling it out manually, but these do give a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Um, if you all know, feel free to correct me in the comments, but I have not seen anything other than that it pulls up at the top there. And then there's, if I get a good angle, there's the inside. In case you want to see what the inside is made of, this stuff here is actually like a soft plastic. Um, not really sure what that is, but think of like uh, like the plastic you'd see on like a new car where you think it's going to be 
hard plastic, but it's actually surprisingly soft. That's the same stuff. So it's actually pretty nice to have that. Um, and again, this guy snaps on like that. I have yet to have an issue with this clasp. Um, it's great to just yank it off. Um, although I've never had a helmet with a D-ring setup, so I've been a little spoiled in that department. My last helmet has like a like a zip system where you start here, then it zips into the position. So I kind of like that system better, just because I can adjust it on the fly. Whereas this, you have to adjust from here and it's it's set and go like there is no adjustment unless you pull up your helmet um there is no adjustable vent there's a vent here a vent here vents here uh here here and then in the front um and then one more right here there is no adjustability that I have seen. Please correct me if I'm wrong. No adjustability I've seen for any vent except for that front one right there. Um, and my Bluetooth has this little microphone attached. Um, I haven't had any issue speaking to anybody with this. Uh, during normal road conditions however if you're at speed with this guy on but that's a, a Bluetooth issue um, my wife can can barely hear me well she no I'm sorry she can hear me fine I can't hear her very well because of the speakers that are in here that come with this set uh, but again that's part of this Bluetooth issue it's just a little BS Bluetooth um, so your speakers are going to be right there. So there's the speaker right there. Um, it's got Velcro pre-installed on there and you can just throw it in and you're good to go. So there's been zero issue putting that in, installing that, any of that stuff. This guy snaps off the back. Uh, no issue. Um, it reminds me, in I believe my first video, I did mention back here fits a little, little tight to the head. Um, you really don't notice it when you're riding at all. You're only going to notice it when you go to put on your helmet. Um, after that, you really don't notice at, at all. Um, I still wish there was a little bit more padding back here just because I feel it would even out the rest of the padding in the helmet. So I wish there was a, a fix for that. Um, but like I said, there's there's no there's no issue um, once you have your helmet on. I just noticed the uh, Ruroc logo placement there. Um, I've seen some people that have Ruroc right here. My helmet did not come with that. Um, I'm not quite sure which helmets came with that and why. Because I know that part of the reason why they delayed it so much was to uh, refit and retool all the stuff that they had. Just so it was just the right fit. Um, but overall, like I'm, I'm pretty happy with the helmet. Um, I would not return it. I, I'm happy enough to not have any major issues with it. Um, so I, I like it rather well. Am I putting this in backwards? I am. So that guy goes like that. Let's see if I can't 
get this guy in here. So there's that snap. That snaps in. That snaps in. Come on. There it goes. So it's pretty easy to snap in, but it does take quite a bit of pressure to unsnap it. Um, so I know there's somebody concerned with that. So I haven't had an issue there. Um, I did have an issue when my Bluetooth was over in this area, um, where because of the clamp that was right here, it was pushing this out. So it made the fit a bit tighter. And it also made it slightly harder for my modified chin strap idea um, to stay in the place on that side, but I still didn't notice any issue riding on the freeway or anything like that. So let's get this guy back in. There's that. Snapped in. Get this guy back in. You can see me fight with this for a second here. Uh, so on this front piece, this kind of oh that reminds me. So in here, these two pieces don't really like fastened to anything. They're just kind of in there. Um, so this one, I believe, kind of slightly tucks behind this piece, and that's how it all stays in there. So that's a little worrisome, but after a little over a week of daily riding with it, I have not had any real-world issues um, with it staying in place. But that slides in like that. And then this guy just kind of settles back into place. So it does look a little a little bit loose. So it's kind of weird like that. But like I said, I haven't had any issue actually riding with the helmet. Um, so far, early review... I would probably give it a uh, like a nine out of ten, nine and a half out of ten. Um, bear in mind, this is only the second helmet I've ever owned. I'm fairly new to riding. I've been riding now for almost three years. Um, I had a Voss nine eight eight before this guy. Um, the Voss was uh, ECE approved as is this guy. They are not snow rated. Um, I do get quite a few looks of people trying to side eye my helmet so that they think I don't see them and they just want to check out the helmet. But like, if you want to check out the helmet, check out the helmet. Like that's half the reason you buy one of these, right? All these really cool graphics. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been really cool. Um, I really like it. The weather here seems to be breaking in nicely. Um, it still feels really nice and soft to the touch. So there's been no issues with any of that. Put this guy back in. Come on, get in there. Probably have to fight with this later. questions please feel free to leave any and all comments um, clearly this is not a professional recording studio I do not have professional recording stuff 
I am just using my phone um, and the phone's audio to do this. There's no specialty equipment, nothing of the sort. So try not to, uh, to hate me in the comments for having bad audio. Try to speak up a little more since my last video was uh, a little hard to hear. Come on, get in there. Again, this chin strap was not made for this helmet, so it does fit a little differently. But it does go in. Come on. And it does stay in once it's in. You can always bend this up just a little bit if you need to get it to work a little bit better. There we go. There we go. I'm just gotta kind of make sure it's nice and even. Um, otherwise, I haven't had any issues with this helmet. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions about it, which I've basically gone over. Um, it is a carbon fiber shell. I do not know. You can probably find out, but I don't know if this is. I doubt it's painted on because. To mass produce graphics like this, I don't see how it's possible. I just noticed the visor is not ECE approved. So the helmet is ECE, but not the visor. Um, Ruroc also has a, uh, a pin lock insert um, that I noticed on their website where I think they call it protectant, protect tint. Um, and it's basically like those glasses that goes from clear and changes color to tinted. Um, so what I might do, because I have the pen lock for my clear shield, is uh, I'm going to get one of those and see if it still goes dark um, wearing the light smoke. Because I do currently wear sunglasses under here uh, during the day on my ride home see if that does change color to a darker tint so that I don't have to wear my sunglasses. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll just switch it out over my clear visor and then put the clear one in this guy since I mainly ride with this. Um, if you wear glasses and you have to wear glasses while riding or want to wear sunglasses, you've got uh, plenty of room for any kind of sunglasses or glasses you want to wear. They go in nice and smooth. My boss helmet, they were kind of like pushed up into my face, um, which I kind of liked because it really kept them in place. But on these, if you have like a wider, a wider frame glass, uh, glasses, you're not going to have any issues, um, putting those on in this helmet. Um, oh, the field of view is amazing on this helmet. Your your peripheral vision can see all the way off to the side. There's there's no issue. The only issue I have is when I wear my sunglasses underneath this underneath this, the sunglasses cut off my peripheral vision. The helmet does not. So during my morning ride I have no issue seeing up, down, left, right, wherever. There's no blockage from the helmet at all. Um, even if you go into a full tuck position, you still have plenty of room. So I know on my boss, if I had to do a full tuck, I had to adjust my helmet up just a little bit so that I could see better. With this, strap it on and go you don't have to adjust anything while riding. You have so much field of vision with this helmet. It's ridiculous. Um, I believe they said it was the best in the industry. If not one of the top three, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's at least top three uh, for field of view. Um, so that's the other like really amazing thing I liked um, about this helmet. Um, and the only reason I would knock it down like that half a point is just because of 
that that part in the back that uh, that doesn't have enough cushion um, in my opinion um, so I'll probably make another review uh, later on maybe a month or two six month probably a month and then maybe another one at six months just to see how my uh, my views change on it see if my opinion changes um, to see what else I've done um, I would imagine by then I'll probably have a cardo on there because the the buddy I ride with on occasion has a cardo um, so that was my big thing about getting the shockwave is I did not want to spend $150 just to find out that the shockwave couldn't connect to the Cardo system, and sure enough, it does not. So if you're going to spend $150 and you do ride with friends and you want to be able to communicate, just bypass the shockwave, get a Cardo or a Cena, and you'll be able to talk to them and still listen to your music. Um, if they come out with a revised shockwave, where it can communicate with um, communicate with the Cardo or Senna, then yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, just because it integrates with the helmet so well. But besides that, no. Um, I also got to send me a comment. Um, this guy came with the helmet. I got my gift pack finally. So it comes with lanyard. Um, I believe this is a, a snood. Uh, which is one of those neck gator type deals. Stickers. And then a flag. So let me know if you have any questions.